Hey guys, so it's Steam here with a demo of Coral Motion Studio 3D. Now this program allows you to do some really nice 3D animations and rendering. So for example, if you're doing some intros or whatever, it's going to be a great way to go. Uh, so let's go ahead and give you guys a demo. Now I'm a giant noob at this, but uh, yeah, well, if I can make something decent, you guys definitely can. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and create a D3 Live intro today. We're going to do it in just a few minutes, so it's not going to be a particularly great, but yeah, we'll see what we can do. Alright, so there's a lot on the screen, but what we're going to do is just going to take it step by step. So the first thing is we're going to insert text, which is up here on the top left. Uh, now here we can pick out our fonts and our sizes and all that kind of stuff. So I'm just going to go ahead and type in D3 Live here. And there we go. So once we have it here on our main screen, we can kind of rotate it and you'll see it in full 3D space. But we'll go ahead and undo that, get right back where it was, and go ahead and get uh, get started. Uh, so the first thing is, is the color. I don't like that gold. So we can come down to the timeline, click the color. And then we're going to click the surface color and click black. Uh, that's typically what D3 Live logo is. So yeah, that'll, that'll look nice. And as far as this background, I'm not really liking that. So let's go to the background tab. Uh, now there's lots of different modes. For example, if we just wanted like a white background, we could do that. Um, there's also magic textures. So we can do some magic textures. <laughs> um, there's also gradients, video, and image. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and pick out an image. I've already made myself a gradient. So... We'll start with this. All right, so this is kind of like the beginning of it. Now, what I want to do is I want to create a four-second intro. So down here on the bottom left, we can select the number of frames. So since this is a 30 frames per second intro, we're going to go ahead and make it 120, which equals four seconds. All right, so now we have all the basics in place. Now let's see what we want to do. Um, so I'm thinking just as something really simple is I want the D3 Live logo to zoom in and do an entire 360. Uh, so what I think I'm going to do is select the camera here. Now from this we can select like different sides so if you want to look at it from you know the back and the front and all that kind of stuff but we're just going to do something really standard instead move this back so we'll zoom it out um let's say a fair bit something like that all right so now that we have this let's go ahead and do some orientation so um right along here we'll select the 30th frame or as close as we can get and come up to the y axis and type in 90 so as you guys can see here it spins around 90 degrees and we'll just keep doing this all the way through. So we'll come to the 60 degree and make it 180. And keep on going to here. Do 270 and finish it out with 360 degrees. So make it just do an entire 360 degree uh, spin. Uh, now as you guys can see here, I'm using these, the X, Y, and Z axes. Of course if I wanted to, I could you know, manually just drag it, but that's really precise. It's a lot easier. So let's go ahead and click play. As you can see here, Looks like a nice, smooth animation to spin around. All right, so we're getting there. Now, I think what we want to do is have it zoom. So we'll come over to the camera icon. Now, at the beginning of the timeline, we have it you know, zoomed out. So all the way at the end, we can go ahead and zoom this distance all the way in. So if we play it again, you guys can see here, it will be spinning and fly straight into the camera. So I think that looks really nice. Uh, now, that's the basics of it. And you can see here, it took no time at all. And of course, it's not particularly amazing, but not too bad. Uh, now we can go ahead and go into effects. Now there are a lot of effects and I'm definitely not going to try to show you guys them all. Uh, but there are some cool ones. So for example, let's do, oh I don't know, shadow. So we'll add a shadow here. And we have a shadow which I don't particularly think that looks that great so let's undo that. Um, we can also do fire. So if I want a flaming D3 Live logo and of course, of course we need a flaming D3 Live logo. So <laughs> there we go. We have a flaming D3 Live logo. I actually <laughs> That actually looks really cool. Uh, but I think what we'll do is we'll just do some motion blur just to kind of give it a little bit more of a realistic effect. Uh, so it's going to run a little slow, but that's just because we're, uh, of course, doing all this rendering in real time. So spin it around and fly it straight into the camera. So that's going to be pretty much it. I'm pretty happy with that. I think it looks cool. So let's go ahead and export it out. Now, there's a lot of options for exporting your images, or rather your uh, models. Uh, so you can just export it as a video overlay. You can export it as a 3D model, so for example, in all kinds of different programs. And in fact, I didn't click this on, but we can turn on the anagraph. So if we turn this on, you guys can see it'll actually be in 3D. So if you do like actual 3D work with your 3D models and that's not confusing but uh, <laughs> you can certainly do that uh, anyway so we can also do some just simple things like exporting it uh, we can export it to video studio so if you guys use video studio pro x4 uh, you can just export it straight in there which is pretty simple but we're gonna just do something really simple and export it as a file so we'll do AVI 30 frames per second looks great to me and we'll just do d3 live logo and save it. So as you guys can see up top here, it kind of shows you frame by frame, shows your how long it's been going, how long it thinks it has, and all that kind of stuff. 
overall, I don't think it turned out too badly, especially with a little bit of background music or some, some sound effects or something. I think it'd be a pretty decent intro for three or four minutes of work. Anyway, guys, that's going to be about it. If you're interested in picking up Motion Studio for yourself, I believe it's going to run you about $100 or so, which is not too bad. And there is a free 30-day trial, which you can you know, test it out, see if you like it, and all that kind of stuff. Anyway, guys, that's going to be about it. If you enjoyed the video, definitely be sure to leave it a thumbs up. And if you're interested in more videos like this, be sure to subscribe.